Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna continue on the bunker project uh, the weather is wonderful for once so uh, yeah it's a good day for it so the bunker is here I am there <laughs> can I see the camera and stuff so let's you can see that it has rained here and let's get that off and we do have a bit of water on on the bottom here so apparently um yeah i had a lot of suggestions that the water would come from up here and run down into the bunker and when you look at it the hole is here that's the metal oh that's the metal and besides it is a is a it's a space where there is dirt down there so anything that comes over here and runs in will run uh, down into the ground and not into the bunker but I have the I have the idea that water will get into the into the inside of the bucket and drip down from the middle of it I don't know if that's true or false but it could look like that right there in the middle there is a little bit of water so yeah but I have a plan I have already been testing it a little bit so it's over here that's the plan I'm gonna tell you what that is so this is an air um, well it's for a paint gun but this one is air driven so this is kind of a air pump that will take the outside air and it even even has a filter here my oh and then everything goes down into the bunker so it's meant for blowing air and then into an air gun and then you can make like an like a nice paint job but it has the feature of heating the air a little bit uh, this is 300 watts so this is definitely not something that i want to run all the time but it runs very well off of the awesome all powers power station here it says it uses 300 watts but it actually uses 386 watts so if we could try and blow that into the bunker here is the air hose uh, which is also gonna be internet and power connection for the bunkers so uh, uh. Uh, this is let's see if this will fit it's the same diameter so it won't fit inside but well <clears throat> just happen to have some tape right here don't we so I'll fix that I'm sure we can manhandle something okay <laughs> Yeah. So that's the setup. Let's power on. Okay. So now we can hear that air is coming into the bunker here. Very nice. And we can even see how much power it uses. 381 watts. That's quite a bit so yeah this is not a solution that is good for very long another use for the all powers power station with the Bluetooth thing you can turn it on and off from down here it's really noisy down here so we're gonna keep it off but yeah, all powers, power station. And this one is the, it's the S2000. Uh, we kind of need to have a little talk. Uh, last time in the video, I welded some stuff up here and I got a ton of comments that I should wear a helmet and glasses and destroying my, my eyes and stuff. Uh, I forgot to say, I closed my eyes when I was welding. Um, I'm 48 years old. 
I don't smoke, I don't drink very much, I drive like an old man. I can take care of myself. Please take it easy in the comments. I know perfectly well what I can do and what I can't do. I haven't been at the emergency room since I was a kid. And it's free here. I can go all I want, but I've never needed to. So uh, yeah, comment down in the comments. I'm fine. If you're watching this video, uh, nothing happened. Uh, um, this is of course the rack that I mounted. It's, it's not much of a rack, but it fits those tiny Lenovo machines that I want to put in here. So this is the cage for one of those tiny Lenovo's and it will fit. Uh, I want this one to be at the bottom. I'm not gonna fasten that at all. I'm just gonna fasten the next one and take this one out again. So if there is any water in the bottom of the bunker, well, there won't be anything down there that would get damaged. So uh, the first five centimeters, nothing would, uh, would be hurt there. So let's see if I can fasten something to the next one. Okay, uh, there is these uh, cages for the tiny Lenovo PCs to sit in. And these are really to mount them under your desk or something. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna mount them in my rack here. I'm just gonna glue them to the side, I guess. Uh, I thought that I made this more tight than I really have, so that's gonna be kind of an issue. I might, I might need to go get something to space that up so that it doesn't <sighs> so it isn't that loose. Okay, I have um, I have some of this thick tape that glues to almost everything. It still have the protective thing. So my idea is to to put it in here and and slide it in place like that. And then I have some um, I have some wood glue, and this is uh, wood glue for wet rooms, bathrooms. But it says here that. It can be, while wet, it can be removed with water. When it's dry, it needs to be removed mechanically. So um, I think that's gonna be very good. We're gonna tape it on with this stuff, and then I'm gonna give it a little bit of wood glue, or glue. <laughs> it's gonna be metal glue for this, but oh, this was purchased for my bathroom upstairs, and I haven't used all of it. So uh, yeah, we're gonna use some of that. And I. I'm risky, rescuing um, ants down here. Apparently they keep falling down. Uh, <clears throat> that one didn't make it long. Really don't want the bunger full of ants. Can this still come out? It can still come out. So, okay. I'm just going to put some glue where that white tape thing is. Please don't come out everywhere. I should have tested this upstairs. Stop typing, I'm fine. I haven't got a clue if this is going to do the trick. According to the thinky here, it should be. According to this, it dries in 20 minutes if the room temperature is 200 degrees C. We are not going to do that. It's going to have to take its time, I guess. So, I will prepare the next one. Okay, um, this is how it looks right now. Uh, this one is going to come out again. 
and the bottom one is going to come out again and then they're going to go on top of them, probably. So, um, I hope that glue is going to it's going to work. Um, there's nothing more that I can do than give it some time to, um, well, to work. And if it doesn't work, we'll figure out something else. Okay, I'm down here again. It's a couple of hours since, um, since I started this and it didn't work. I've just fixed it again to try it again. Um, yeah, the glue just ran down. It didn't actually stick to anything. So this one down here was, uh, when I took this out, it just fell down. These two were a little bit better. This one that I put in first and glued, well, when I took this bottom down one out, that one just fell to the ground. And uh, these two kept, well, they stayed up, but yeah. Um, eh, it's definitely work in progress. Apparently two hours wasn't enough. Uh, it's a bit of a shame because that's a long time. <sighs> Apparently I need to heat this up to 200 degrees. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. Um, I've had the fan blower blowing down here and, well, it didn't heat up much. Uh, it's still bloody cold, so it's, uh, it's gonna take some effort to heat up this tank. Oh, this is my camera tripod setup. This is <laughs> really weird. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> this is another insane idea. So uh, let's see what I have here. This is a car heater. This is, I think it's 150 watts. And um, this is a lithium ion 12 volt battery, uh, 50 amp hours. So it should be able to run this for approximately something around uh, five hours. It's not gonna run that long, but yeah, <laughs> um, let's see if we can connect this. Uh, there, and then the positive one over there. Uh, that would be very nice if I could get a better connection. Uh, So we're gonna lure that down into the bunker. <laughs> what? What could go wrong? There we are, we're heating the bunker, 150 watts. So we're gonna take a little temperature measurement because I lured down a thermometer, <laughs> old fashioned. Uh, right now it's like six degrees down there, Celsius. So let's try that. Put this on top and let it run for a bit. See if um, see if it heats up. Okay, it has been probably an hour or so. So I'm really curious to see if we have heated it up any. Oh. Nope, not at all. That is weird. Still. Six degrees. But it is putting out hot air. Okay, I'll let it run a bit longer. Okay, it's the next day and my heating monstrosity is sitting here because I took it out of the bunker yesterday. But I want to go in there and see if my uh, gluing of the of the, the things to put the, the little PCs 
if that has been working out. And it has been raining this night, as you might be able to see on top of this bucket that is on here. So let's get rid of that so we don't get water in there. That was close. There is no water in there. It looks good. I'll climb down. We'll have a look. We do that. Let's check the temperature now that I have put this old style thinky in here. So it's a nice and chilly 4 degrees down there. So, um, okay, a bit cold. Okay, here we are. It doesn't look like uh, it isn't even dry. Uh, so apparently the 4 degrees down here isn't great for dry and blue. Eventually, I expect it will get there. Uh, yeah, there is some stability to it. I think we can remove this one. That is... They're good enough to not... Well, they need more over here. This one... This also comes out okay. Yeah, you can kind of see the glue is still white. And... <laughs> It's not going well. Okay, so the glue hasn't even gone off very good. So yeah, might need another week to um, to get there. I will um, I will use this opportunity to give it some more because I can I can feel that over here more is needed. Now that we have it out, we might as well do the other side as well. And back here. I would have expected this to have dried overnight, I must admit. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was unexpected. But. I didn't manage to heat it down here, so that might be why that it hasn't uh, hasn't dried up. You can kind of already see the glue. The, the spacing hasn't it isn't perfect. Uh, the whole thing has come apart down here. I think up further up, it's uh, it's a bit more tight. But um, this has taken way longer than expected. So it really feels like I haven't done anything this uh, in this video because most of the stuff that I've tested out didn't work very well. Well, the, the I did blow a lot of air into the into the bunker, but it didn't heat it up much. Well, it was six degrees, and apparently now it's four degrees. So maybe it did heat it up two degrees. Um, so yeah, I might need to try that again. I um, I wasn't expecting it to be. <laughs> four degrees down there so uh, might need to do that again and the other heating project didn't do much and apparently that heat dissipated really quickly so um, not much to do there and the gluing of the of the brackets for the mini PCs well that is it isn't a total dead yet but it's really taking longer than expected so should probably have uh, not used water based glue something else would have evaporated a lot faster and been bad for my health I'm sure you would comment so uh, yeah I think this is where we're gonna end this video I would like to remind my patrons that uh, there's a patreon video for you every oh that's a lot of light there's a patreon video for you every Sunday so do go check that out uh, well it's Sunday today so I have to make it today so yeah that's a brand new Patreon video that I just filmed for you today. So Patreon videos are filmed the same day as they go up. So it's the latest and the greatest. And um, yeah, Patreon, check it out. Uh, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.